In order to prepare the NMR for your sample, we're first going to inject it with air, followed by flushing it with acetone, and then injecting it with air again. So you take the syringe that's labeled air, draw up 0.4 milliliters of air into the syringe, loosen the import, insert the syringe all the way until it stops, tighten the screw, and slowly and gently inject the air. You'll then loosen the screw and take the syringe out. The second thing we'll do is flush it with acetone. So we'll get the syringe labeled acetone and we'll draw up again about 0.4 milliliters of acetone. Make sure that the screw is still loosened. Insert the needle all the way until it stops. Tighten the screw and slowly, carefully inject the acetone. You'll see some drops come out of the outport. Again, loosen the screw. And this time again, we're going to inject air. So draw up 0.4 milliliters of air into the syringe, insert the syringe until it stops, tighten the screw, and slowly inject the air. You can loosen the screw and remove the syringe, and now you can prepare to put your sample into the NMR. So the next thing you want to do is clean your sample syringe by flushing it twice with your sample. So I'll take up some sample into the syringe and then put it in the waste. Again, take up some sample into the syringe. Once again, just put it in the waste beaker. And then the third time I'll be actually using this sample for my NMR. So I'll take up about 0.4 milliliters of my sample. And I'll make sure that this screw is loosened. Inject the syringe all the way until it stops. Tighten the screw and slowly inject to my sample. And at this point, I'm going to leave the syringe in the port. Okay, now that you can move over to the computer, you can choose methods, choose carry, and then at the bottom left in green, just choose go, and then it's gonna start scanning. Now that your run is complete, you should see this green bar down here that says ready. Now you can go up here to the top right, click save as, and it should already say open with Mess Renova. Click OK. Now that you've opened the Mess Renova window, you'll be using this program to analyze your data. So one of the things you can do in this program is you can right click and select different modes. You can then leave those modes by pressing escape on the keyboard. So for example, you can right click, select zoom in, and use this to zoom in on your peaks. And then to exit this mode, you would just push escape on the keyboard. The first things you wanna to do to analyze your data is right click, go down to peak picking, and select manual threshold. You're gonna place the crosshairs to the left and a little bit below the leftmost peak, so, uh, select and drag across to the right of your rightmost peak so that all of the tops of your peaks should be within the red box. When you release, you'll see 
your peaks have been labeled up here at the top. You'll do this for all of your peaks. And then you can push escape to exit this mode. The next thing you want to do is right click, go down to integration, and click on manual. From there you're going to place the crosshairs right on the baseline to the left of a peak where the, where the line is totally flat. Click and drag to the other side and end where the baseline is also flat. Next you're going to right click, go down to reference, and select reference. With your professor's help, you'll select your reference peak. In my case, I know that it's this one in the middle, so I will select this one. You're going to enter the reference value for your solvent based on your professor's recommendation. In my case, I know that it's 2, which is already here, so I'm going to select OK. Next, on the taskbar, you're going to click the J multiplet icon to assign multiplets and chemical shifts. Now you can print your spectrum. So you can go to File, click Print, and you want to make sure that your printer switch is set to A if you're using PicoSpin 1 and B if you are using PicoSpin 2. If it's on the correct, correct switch, you can just print it out. After you've printed your spectrum, you want to come back to the NMR so that you can clean up. So your sample syringe should still be in the import. So you want to loosen the screw and remove the syringe from the inlet port. We want to get the air syringe and withdraw 0.4 milliliters into the syringe, insert it into the inlet port, tighten the screw, and slowly and gently inject the air to clean out. We're going to loosen the screw and repeat this one more time. So we're going to withdraw air, insert it until it stops, tighten the screw, and once again inject the air and we're going to leave the air syringe in the inlet port. So to clean out your sample syringe, we're gonna flush it two times with acetone. So, I got some acetone into my syringe. I'm going to put that in the waste, and I'll do that one more time. And then you want to pump the plunger 10 times to remove any traces of acid.